are you all doing? What's in this video? We will be installing this engine into this frame, or rather putting this frame onto this engine, talking to all the frame bolts with the torque wrench. So, let's get on with it. Right then, here it goes. Wish me luck. Let's see how much we can scratch these babies up. Okay then, moment of truth. start off with the uh, longest bolt. I did clean all these nuts up and uh, heat them up to temperature and put some beeswax on them. But having said that I did do that with the rear shock absorber and uh, this is what they look like after the winter. Hmm, either I did it wrong or things don't look too promising. So I'm just going to put some grease along the shaft to stop it seizing in there if anybody wants to take it out in the next 15 years. I think I'm going to push them all from this side because this uh, shock absorber bolt, if you can see down there, goes in from this side. I'll just follow suit with all the other bolts. They just uh, give it a smear of grease. And then try to insert this first one. Get you in a bit closer so you should see the bolt coming through this tunnel. There it goes. Might need to wiggle the frame a little bit. Sounded a bit scratchy. Ah, there we go. <coughs> yep, that's through that bit. See if it comes out there. Oh, oh. On goes the nut. first one. Okay so hopefully you can see just there where my thing is pointing. Maybe you can't. Hopefully you can see now just there that little hole. That's the other engine bolt wants to come through which is this one. Now let me grease it up and then hopefully you'll see it coming through that little hole. Okay then, here we go. Okay then, here we go. Don't we got the frame around a bit again. Uh, that's got it, it's going. Got to use the hammer to tap it. Probably be better. 
quickly through the back there. Now let's try and work out where all the other ones go. And if by any chance you're going to be doing this job on your CBR1000F, don't forget the adjuster bolt just there. And there's a torque wrench setting for that I believe, but we'll get to that later. Okay then, so I'm pretty sure that this one goes here because the spacer is the uh, smallest spacer I've got. If we stick that in there, stick the bolt in there, put the washer on there, put the dot on there, that should be that one. Okay, so now we have this one, like that spacer fits in there, spacer at all. So let's move on to try to find this one. Okay so I'm pretty sure that one must go in there. But it is a bit tight. So that one has no spacer, so that must be just a straight bolt. Put the washer on there. Put the nut on there. Then we've got two left, but we've got no bolts. But we've got two spacers. One will go there. One will go on the other side. But now I've just got to work out which bolt Okay then, so I'm pretty sure this is the one for this side. Hopefully we can get the spacer in there. That one don't fit. That same size. That's the same size. Well, that's not going to fit in there. Let's try the other side first. you fit in there? Yes. Is it going in? Tighten this one up. Make sure it's the right one. that to this side then I grab the other side in. Right, now that side's in. Can we get this side in? Just a bit.
to the big tank I need to open. Is that any good? That's it. So I think that's all the bolts. Let me get the book and uh, check out what all the torque wrench settings are. Right then, worked all that out. This uh, top bolt is 40 mil, and it is 43 foot pounds per square inch. But first, we've got to tighten up the locking bolt on the other side. And uh, I have no torque sent. I have no way of torque setting that down, so I've just got to do it tight. It does say six foot pounds on one, on the locking dock, the 12 foot pounds on the other one, I think, something like that. But anyway, I don't matter. I'm just going to do it with a big spanner. Okay, then let's have a mess about with this. Uh, adjusted system figure. Let's get this bolt out of the way for the starter motor. If I can get the starter motor in there, well you better be able to. Let's put that there. Okay, so I suppose you just tighten that up. And that's all I've got is an adjustable spanner. I don't think six foot pounds is very much, so we don't need to go too bad. I should think that's enough. So that's that. So now we can do these. 17 mil, like I say. 43 foot pounds. These are the 12 millimeter bolts. And the 10 millimeter bolts are 33 foot pounds. Put my spanner on the other side. And uh, let's go for it. That's that one. Then we've got to go down to the bottom one. Hopefully you can see the bottom one, it's just there, that's the same 12mm bolt, 43 foot pounds per square inch. But I'll uh, need an extension bar to reach that one obviously. That one there, it's on the other side. So this is one of the uh, 10 millimeter bolts, uh, 14 millimeter nut. 
And like I say, these are 33 foot pounds. Doesn't seem a lot. Same on the other side. skin while you're at it. Yes, that goes in there nicely. Let's stick the two bolts in. Ten millimeter socket. for the uh, petrol tank old roper or whatever it's called CBR1000F engine into my CBR1000F frame and I'm sure you'll all agree that is one big massive piece of the puzzle and one big massive part of the plan and we have all waited for this moment ever since this build began <laughs> why do I always get wasps in my shed There's nothing in here. Nothing in here for you. 
No one in tools. Oh, bugger off. Go away. No nesting in here. No nesting allowed. Come on, bugger off. Go away. Cool. I don't know if you can still hear the buzzing, but uh, just bear with it. As long as it don't sting me. So yes, there you go. One giant step forward for this project. I'm sure we all agree on that one. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Hope you come back next time. Hope you subscribe if you haven't already. Hope you leave a good comment down below. Hope you leave a thumbs up. Hope you're all keeping well and safe. And on that note, I'll see you on the next one. I see you in another life, brother.